A group of artists have congregated at Rockaway Beach in New York to create their version of the perfect sandcastle on a beachfront which was devastated by Superstorm Sandy. The artists were handpicked to participate in the competition by Creative Time, a New York-based arts organization. Today is the second annual Creative Time Artist Sandcastle competition. Um, last year, obviously, was our inaugural competition. And this year, we have 10 artists competing. Uh, they have three hours to construct whatever it is they'd like to construct. Sandcastles are known as a favorite beach activity for kids, but the artists must complete their sandcastle without the help of any children. We were just trying to make like a sandcastle like for big people, like how like, you know, like sandcastle kids are all for like kids and who wants to, you know, buckets for kids, they're like too small for me or like I don't want to use a starfish mold or like something like that. While there are no guidelines for the competition, the judges have the final say on which sandcastle will come out on top. We want you yeah. to bring some, some gusto, some, something, really something big, innovate something, something good, interesting for something us. fun, something cool, something creative. And, and, and really something unexpected. That's, that's the biggest, the biggest part of this competition is the, is the wow people. Yeah. They absolutely. come here for a sandcastle competition and they go home with something else entirely. <laughs> Respect. Respect. Although there were some classic sandcastle shapes on show, one team decided to take a different route. And like any New Yorker, I know that planes have a different connotation for us. They have this little weight that we can't avoid but following their trajectory, just in case. And so in a way, why not talk about those planes, planes that are also passing over the beach right now because we're so close to the airport. Why not address that fear that we all have, create a shadow that's basically painted with seawater into our little edge of plastic. Then we're going to take the edge of plastic away and the sun will do its thing, taking this plane away and making it disappear, hopefully creating some sort of a memorial and a cleansing for all of us that we so need. And then we're just left with the sun and the sand. The revelry was a much needed boost for the Rockaway Beach community after the destruction wrought by Superstorm Sandy last year. And for the winning artist, there is a $500 gold painted shovel and a bucket filled with tequila.